This is the NU32 development board, and it acts like a 60-pin dip-style chip that you can just plug into a breadboard. And then you can attach wires to the PIC32 by connecting to the various pins on the breadboard. So the main purpose of this board is to break out most of the 64 pins of the PIC32, but because the PIC needs some other electronics to make it run, there's a little bit more on board. So let's take a look. So at this end, we have a mini B USB connector that we use to connect a cable to your host computer so you can talk back and forth and also so you can send programs over to the PIC32. And the way that your computer communicates with the PIC32, your computer uh, has software on it written by FTDI that takes the USB serial port and makes it act like, or the USB port makes it act like a serial port. And that talks to one of the UARTs on the PIC32 through this chip, this FTDI chip that converts the USB to UART. So you talk USB to here, turns into UART connection here that goes to the PIC32, and you talk back and forth with the PIC. In addition, we have a 6 volt input over here. You could put in other voltages be besides 6 volt, 6 volt or larger. And on board of the uh, NU32 are two regulators, one at 5 volts and one at 3.3 volts. So we'll take that voltage and step it down to those two commonly needed voltages. And in particular, our PIC32 runs on 3.3 volts, so it needs that voltage. And then out here from the board itself, you have connections to ground, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and whatever the input voltage is. So you have, a, you have all of those three voltages available for you for your own external circuits. There's a power switch on board. Uh, we already discussed the USB to UART chip. Over here, there are two buttons. One is a reset button, so when you press that, you reset the PIC. And the other is a user button, and that's just a simple input-output uh, function that's available to the user and for your program. So when you write a program and you want to just get one bit input from the user, you can use that user button. There's also two LEDs here, and those LEDs are also available for you to use in your programs to pro provide simple output. And finally, we've got a micro B USB connector here, and that's so you can attach your PIC32 to an external USB device, say a phone, a smartphone that you want to communicate back and forth with.